Hello everybody, welcome back to Trojan News. Alfredo Olazaba, aspiring actor and film director. He's admired and seen as a role model by many of his viewers. He's pretty cool, he's a real chill guy. Oh my god, I love Alfredo. I love all his videos. I try to go everywhere he goes and follow him because I'm his biggest fan. Oh my god, how can you not love him? Have you seen him? He's perfect, god. He rose to fame by anchoring Trojan News and by creating various videos for the Trojan News program. But who exactly is Alfredo Lozada? We will find out once we take a look at what goes on behind the camera. I'm Santos Aguilar, I'm the executive producer of Trojan TV. And a lot of y'all know who Alfredo Lozada is. He's basically the face of our show. And lately, a lot of my camera crew has been telling me how rude he is to them, he screams at them. And basically, I decided to inter interview some of them and set up hidden cameras to get to the bottom of this. Here are some of the clips. So can you tell us your name? Yes, my name is Nathan San Miguel. And can you tell us what you do? I am Alfredo's personal camera technician. So how is Alfredo? What was that? How is Alfredo? How does he act around you? He's pretty cool. He's a real chill guy. So to, I don't know, work for. Nathan, you don't have to be around the corner with us. Alfredo won't hear any of this. Are you sure? Yes, it is confidential between you, me, and the camera. So you won't see this? No, no possible way. Well, in all honesty, he's really demanding and just rude and just a jerk. He's like, not, not who he used to be. I guess all the fame just got to him and it's just not the same anymore. Right on. Come on, we gotta get this done. Hold on, I'm tweeting something, man. Come on, dude. Hold on. All right, when you're ready. God, you're just an intern, chill. All right, better get a lot of retweets or else I'll delete it. All right, Mike, give me the mic. Just, just put it where it fits, man. You're the tech guy. All right. All right, now fix my hair. Good? Count me down. <clears throat> All right. Three, two. Welcome back, everybody, to Trojan News. Today is Thursday, March 24th. 20. It's the 24th? It's the yeah. 27th? Nathan! My bad, dude. You were just on your phone. So can you tell us how it was at first working with Alfredo? At first, he kind of played the role of a cool guy, you know. It was alright for the first couple of weeks, and then suddenly you just changed. You just turned into a big jerk out of nowhere. Hey, I, I heard my name being called out here. Are you guys talking about me? No, I'm talking about Alfredo Bernard, the project that was due last week that I didn't get done. Alfredo Bernard? Yeah, yeah, I, I think I remember that. Talking about that in history class? Yeah, all right, all right. Just checking up. I don't, I don't want you talking about me like that. All right. Oh yeah. By the way, um, speaking of which, you get that project from me tomorrow, right? All right. And I want an A plus this time, not an A minus, not an A, A plus. All right, Nathan. And my script too. Ratings have been kind of low. I want you to get a better script, Nathan. Yeah, I got it. That was close. So, Katia, can you tell us about your role in video tech? Um, I'm in the crew. I just do videos like everybody else in here. Do you ever interact with Alfredo directly? No, he just usually comes in the room and he just he starts demanding me like to do give him hair massages and it's really weird. I mean, he says it helps him, I don't know, to make videos or something. Hey, Katia, um, come give me a hair massage. Uh, I can't. I'm busy. Look, you either give me a hair massage or I'm going on channel one today, alright? My hair's looking kind of flat today and I need this. He always uses my hair products. Like, he owes me bottles of hairspray. It's horrible and I hate it. Have you heard of Aaron Moreno? Yeah, that was his former camera technician, right? Yeah. Do you yeah, know what happened to him? No. So what's your name? My name is Aaron Moreno. Can you tell us what you used to do? 
I used to be Alfredo's cameraman. Will you describe that for us? Yeah, it was a pretty chill job at first, but then over time he became really demanding and abusive. So I had to quit that job and relocate myself and change my name. Yeah, it's taking a psychological toll on me and I can't go out anymore without being scared that he's near. Well, I, I know you somewhere around here. So why do you put up with Alfredo? I just can't, I can't do this. It's too risky. I just gotta go. So can you tell us your name? Joan, that's all Will you describe you and Alfredo's relationship? You know, it was, it was pretty great. You know, I, I met him in kindergarten. And, uh, you know, he would defend me all the way, and I would defend him. I, we had each other's back, basically. And it got into high school where things started, like, you know, so bad. You know, you know, we always did, like, movies such as um, The Balance and stuff. Because he got into some video tech class, which was pretty neat. You know, then uh, it got worse and worse, you know. We would hang out less. You know, we would skate, work out less. After a while, he just like had his own schedule for his own for his own movies, and he would contact me, ask him to demand to do them. Like he didn't even ask me if I wanted to do it, but I, at the same time, I didn't mind because you know I had fun just being with him. And then we don't even I don't even know what to consider him anymore. Rather, my boss or my friend I can't be doing this anymore. It's tough. Are you ready to do that interview? We gotta uh, finish oh, it. Oh, hold on. Alright, I'm doing something important. I'm trying to get more followers here, so just chill. Yeah, come on, dude. It has to be done right now. <laughs> alright, now, either wait or I'm not gonna do this video at all, alright? Trying to get more Twitter followers here. But what's shit. more important? Shh, shh, shh. <sighs> alright, count me down. Mm. We'll do this interview. Finally get it out of the way. Alright, ready? Three? Two. So tell me, Alfredo, what do you like about Trojan TV? You know, I really like being able to, I guess, give a positive message to people. And that's what I really love about this job. It's that I get to, you know, influence people in a good way and bring people joy. And I really mainly do it for the fans. That's what you, really who I do it for. You know, it's the fans that drive me to do the these videos. And it's really them what I do it for. And I know it's just it brings me joy to see them enjoy my videos. That's why I really love to do it. Is that it? You have more to say? You done? I turn off. I'm, is that good? I guess. Alright, I'm done. I can't, I, can't, I can't believe these people buy this stuff, man. Like, like, do it for the fans. Come on, do it. We all know it's like the fans. Alright, I want... I want you to finish my script by tomorrow. I saw Mr. Kundiv talk to Alfredo right now. I'm pretty sure it's about how he's been acting. So I'm going to go confront him and make sure this doesn't happen again. So, Santos. Alfredo. Do you know why I called you in here? Um, about a meeting you want to talk about? What do you think it's about, Alfredo? I don't know if I knew. You wouldn't be asking me now, would you? You're the one that called the meeting. Okay, then. I'm getting a lot of complaints from you, Alfredo. I'm very disappointed in you. Everybody comes and tells me how you make them do your jobs. Nathan tells me he does your scripts. When I tell you I need them by tomorrow, he has them done for you. It's not how we do things here, Alfredo. I want a script by from you by tomorrow, and if I don't have it, you're done. You're out. Matter what? This class, you're out of a job, Alfredo. I'm done with you. You think this is a joke? <laughs> it's funny that you mention that, Santos. No, it really is funny. You know what Mr. Cundiff called me in today? No, be, give me a guess. Why do you think Mr. Cundiff called me in today? I don't know, Fred. I don't know what you deserve. You don't deserve <laughs> anything. Mr. Cundiff, your boss called me in today to tell me that he has been liking my performance and that I've been doing such a good job that I'm being promoted to executive producer. <laughs> That's it. That's right, Santos. I'm your boss. So technically, this is my meeting. So you're in no position or authority to tell me what to do. So with that being said, Santos, I want to see you tomorrow with my script. Otherwise, you don't want to know what happens. You think this is funny, Santos? 
I'll tell you something, Santos, about business. Here, you gotta work, but you don't work yourself. You get others to work for you. You get everybody to do your job, and then you take it all in. That's capitalism. That's how we do it. That's America, baby. Learn, and that's how you play the game. Fire me. <laughs>